All right, well, we're here at the Nakasera Hospital, and uh, Aggie has just gone into the theatre for a cesarean. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night, and uh, things didn't go quite smoothly. Uh, they said that Ivy was oxport posterior, and they gave her more of a chance to come, but she didn't. So now they're doing a cesarean, so yeah, we came in here about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and mum's been, his labour was intense like the whole time, nine hours, so at this point she was just like, let's just have the cesarean. <laughs> so it's been really sad and hard seeing her in so much pain, but uh, we're looking forward to seeing you, Ivy, in just a few minutes and uh, I'm sure you'll be fine, mum will be fine too. Okay, bye. I just heard a baby cry. Should I leave this here? Yeah. Leave this here. I need to put this on. I don't know if it's tight enough. Wow. Wow. She wants to eat? Oh, yes. Wow. That's a bit close to mommy. I'm waiting. She's sucking her fingers. Is she? <laughs> Where is she? There she is. Wow, she's sucking them. Wow, she really wants to feed. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing her? Yeah, look at mm -hmm. that. She's making little noises. Mm. <laughs> there she is. Opening her eyes. Is she? Wow. Mm. It's good she's still awake mm. so she can feed. So, how was that, honey? Oh, this one, I never had such pain. You see, I just asked for a cesarean, which has never happened. Mm. Oh. 
I was almost even. <laughs> oh. I can imagine. It was really painful. Mm. I felt so sorry for you. I was almost crying at one point. Yeah. Mm. Oh. And I was sorry for you because I was, oh, whenever the pains were coming, could just hold you tight, hold Poked your me. neck, pull you. Poke me in the lip once, and the other time you were pressing your <laughs> finger into my throat, and then you almost broke my fingers. And I was even hitting you at one point. Yeah, that didn't hurt too much, though. Oh. Wow. Try to feed her before she sleeps. Yeah, let's get it fed, fed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Ivy, safe and healthy, and Aggie. Right, here's Ivy Cheryl, two days old, right? Two days. I haven't got any video of her just being herself yet. It's hard to be yourself when you're just born and you've got vernix all over you, isn't it? Yeah, that's hard. You can get an idea of the scale by my hand. Of course, all babies are small and they're new like that. But she's a real cutie. Hmm? Mm, you can see her hair. She has black hair. Hey, whoa. What's that all about, hey? Ah, oh, me. Oh. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. She wants to eat. She wants to eat. Let's say hi to Mama. Look at your big eyes there now. I don't even know what colour they are yet. Let's go and have a close look. They're just dark, dark eyes. I think she does look a bit like Anne to me. Hey, she wants to be fed. Wow, look at those white furrows coming out. Mm. Oh, Mama. Okay, let's say hi to Mum. How are you doing, honey? Yeah, you couldn't. Okay. They've been telling you to walk around, right? Yeah. Telling you to walk around to strengthen yeah. the abdominal muscles. Yeah. You're doing well. There she is. So she's very pink now, but but you said, honey, most even African kids are born pink, right? Mm -hmm. I guess when their skin gets exposed to the sun, they'll turn darker. Mm -hmm. So we don't really know like how brown she'll be, <laughs> but we'll see. Bye bye. Bye. So, what do you, aunties and Sharon, think? She's very, very beautiful. She's beautiful. Yes, and she has lips like mine. She has lips like yours. <laughs> okay. Is that why she's with long hair. Yes, oh. with long black hair. Mm. She's good. It looks like she can have black hair. Yeah. Mm. They hate that I don't your hair. No, not mine, I guess. <laughs> but she looks like her, her face for her hair oh, really? is like yours. You think so? Yes. Okay, that's cool. You need to look at her right foot. Her right foot? Yeah. Can you see, like, this toe here that I is, under, tell you? is under the other one? Mm. you see that? And yeah. now if you look at my toe, see. Yes. Tana, did I tell you before that she this will have toe here is under that like one. Yours. Yeah, it's just the, see that? It's the same. Yeah. Can I get that off you? Good. Look at that. And her grandfather. Anna. And her grandfather. My dad has the same, same toes like this. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. How do you feel? How do I feel? That you have a baby wow, now. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing to think that this is a baby from me. <laughs> I've sort of just been sitting here watching her and looking and stuff. Hey. Wow, she's so beautiful. She wants mama. She wants to be fed. She's sucking on her hand. Oh no, 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 don't start crying, there you go, that's better, and she's looking up into my eyes. Alright, it's uh, Tuesday 
the 22nd of March and we've just packed up the car with the stuff, we've been here for three nights and uh, we're just getting ready to go home. This is the hospital we're in, called Makasero Hospital. It's good, we're really impressed. A lot of hospitals that really aren't good here in Uganda. It even has a nice view. See the hills there, they're like that. Let's go and see who's in the who's in the van now. Here's Aggie. So where are we going? We are going back home. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And Ivy is up here in her car. Ivy's carrier. Yeah. For the she's first sleeping. time. That's good that she's sleeping. Mm -hmm. So she's looking cute. Mm -hmm. Had to put some socks in here because this belt was kind of rubbing against her face, I guess, because she's so small. Mm -hmm. Got the air conditioning system on, but not too much. Mm -hmm. So, we're about to head home. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good right. Oh, yeah.